It's the beginning of October and I'm gonna be checking on the potatoes that I've been storing here in my closet in our playroom slash now it's more of a grow room. It's where I start my indoor seeds and I also store a lot of my canned goods and still some kid stuff up here gets in this closet. But I'm checking on these because I harvested them about three months ago and I'm learning a lot about potatoes in general. I don't think I've ever really paid attention much to them, but one thing that I'm learning is that they have different periods of dormancy that they have to go through before they will begin sprouting again. And so what I'm doing today is I'm taking a look to see which ones have emerged from their dormancy. And either if I want to plant them in my garden now, I could, I think I'm gonna try to plant some in a greenhouse, in my greenhouse just to test it. I don't have heat in it. I could heat it if I want to. I really don't think we're gonna have enough daylight to do that, but I'm gonna try, why not? Just do a few in the greenhouse, but Besides that, if they have broken their dormancy, I need to use them, I need to preserve them if I, if I have too many. So I basically need to do something with them or they're just gonna go bad. But I've noticed that there's a difference in the variety, whether they have broken dormancy yet here three months later. So I wanted to show you the difference here. Down here at the bottom is where I've stored my potatoes so that I could get them as cool as possible since we don't have a root cellar. Before we get into checking the different kinds and whether they have started sprouting or not, I did wanna tell you that as soon as I harvested in July, I did take about four to five potatoes from that harvest that are about egg size because that's the kind of seed potato size that I was looking for. And I put them in my refrigerator for four weeks, which is the minimum period of time that potatoes need to have that dormant cold period. And then I brought them into this room to try to pre-sprout them to green sprout them. Um, some of them did show signs of life, some didn't. I went ahead and planted them anyway, um, and some have come up and some haven't. So it's really, it was really kind of spotty to see whether that would work or not. I'm, like I said, I'm trying lots of different things because I just wanna see what works with potatoes, especially in my climate. So let's look at here the first variety and this is Caribe. If you remember Caribe, it was probably my best performer in the, um, in the spring garden in the summer harvest. It's a purple white skinned potato, purple on the outside, and it has so many good uses. I've absolutely loved it. And in general, three months later, Caribe is really not showing any signs of sprouting. I may see a little bitty bud of sprout there, but for the most part, these are, have not sprouted yet. So that tells me that Harvesting Caribe in the summer and then planting again, you know, real early is probably not going to be the best suited variety for that because it's still dormant. Now, the good news is, is that I can use it. I can still use them. I don't have to preserve them. These can hang out here for a little bit longer so we can use them fresh. Coming over here, I have Yukon Gold. And this is my favorite well, I don't know, Curry Bay is pretty close, but my favorite in general variety is the Yukon Gold. And you can see here that this has already started to sprout. You can see the little sprout there. And so that's showing that the Yukon Gold has definitely broken dormancy. If I wanted to plant this now, I definitely could, but again, in my zone 7b we're getting ready to go into winter we don't have a lot of daylight um, i may stick one of these in the ground in the greenhouse just to see but in general i need to either use these or i need to preserve them because they are going to be um, definitely not usable after a while the longer though that these go like this the more shriveled they're going to be the more not palatable they're going to be so i definitely need to get these used up very quickly okay let's move over to this next one, these are Kennebex. And these Kennebex, like the Caribe, are showing no signs of sprouting at all. They're not soft, they're still firm. And I have two Kennebex, I have one back in the back also. I harvested them, I think at different times maybe, or maybe I had so many I needed two different containers, but they're both the same way. They're not showing any signs of, of green sprouting um, at all. So I'll definitely be able to save these a little bit longer and hopefully use them in some of my you know, fall and winter cooking potatoes. Next I have Red Cloud and this was a new variety for me, Red Cloud. Um, got this from Wood Prairie Family Farm, which is also where I got the Caribe and Yukon Gold. Um, I think Kennebec I ended up getting from my local feed store, but the 
red cloud, no signs of sprouting, um, showing that it's needing a little bit longer dormancy. Actually, there's a little tip here. It might be close, kind of like the curry bay, maybe. Um, this one here is getting a little spongy. So yeah, it looks like there's actually a little sprout right there, which will probably indicate why it's a little bit spongy, but the rest of them are still pretty firm. So I have a little bit longer with these. Next I have red Pontiac and these I did buy from my local feed store and they like the Yukon Gold are starting to sprout. Um, this one's real spongy and soft. Any of the spongy and soft ones I'm not going to preserve. So if I preserve any of the, the Yukon Gold or, or any of these, um, I'll definitely use the ones that are not soft yet that are still firm. So I really need to get these preserved pretty fast. This one that's already sprouted, I probably will go ahead and plant it in the greenhouse just to see how it does. Um, but yeah, these have already started to break dormancy with these red Pontiac. And then finally, I have red Norland. I think about half of these came from Wood Prairie and half from my feed store, I'm pretty sure. Um, but these have started definitely <laughs> to sprout. So I need to use these or plant, maybe plant one. But as you can see, I've been using these a lot during uh, the season already. So I've used a lot of these in my cooking. But overall, this has actually been a really fun look at the different varieties of potatoes. I know when I'm looking at a seed catalog for buying potatoes, like at Wood Prairie, they'll say the, the dormancy is, is long or short or medium and that really didn't make any sense to me until i look at it here and i can see okay if they require a long dormancy like the kennebec for example then that's not one i'm going to want to harvest early and then plant again because it's going to need longer dormancy than that but they will be perfect to hopefully have longer to be able to eat on whereas something that's going to sprout the fastest, which I think the red Norland was the first to sprout. I kept a, a log of that, but the ones that sprout the fastest are gonna be the ones that I could probably plant quicker whenever that, that I harvest them, maybe put them in the refrigerator, I can plant them, but they're also the ones that are not gonna last as long for eating. So they're the ones that I need to use up faster. So this has overall been really fun to just to be able to see, and it will help me to decide which potatoes I'm going to plant and grow next year and what I expect from each of them. So if this was new to you, like it was new to me, I definitely hope that this has been helpful for you, especially when it comes to you planting potatoes in your garden next year. Also, if you're a podcast listener, you will want to take a listen to the interviews that I have done with Wood Prairie Family Farms' Jim Garrison. He gives so much great information and I used a lot of it with my potatoes this year and it definitely made a difference in my garden. So we'll put the link in the description here for you to check out those interviews and hopefully they'll help you with your potato growing next year. For more in-depth videos like this to help you grow more food, like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.